Obviously, we have remated these swords for safety, but they will fight as hard and as hot, heartily as they can.
So loads of weapons, loads of weapons here in battle at the moment. I'd have, I have a seven-week-old son. I would have brought a bag full of dirty nappies to throw. That would have, been a, that would have cleared the battle lines. but I believe the Wolves have taken it again. I'm looking for confirmation. Once again, it's the Wolves. Come on, my friends, let's get behind the Ravens. Will they ever get to be victorious on this battle? So as the Wolves reform their line, we call once more upon the dead to rise. dust themselves off. <laughs> and Alric, one of the commanders of the wolves, grinning all over his ugly face. He's got a face only a mother could love, but it's a happy one today. So once more now, are the Wolves going to be overconfident? And indeed, are the Ravens going to strike back with righteous fury? As I said, this is all about grasping the initiative, slamming your shield ball into your opponent, putting them on the back foot, making them react to you. 
And this is a battle where the warriors must work together to be the most effective. Yes, there is a place for the individual heroes, but they must lead the warriors, not simply plunge into the fray unassisted, although that can be quite good fun. We did notice that there was, uh, in the middle of the battle there was a huge gap. I don't know what the gaps tend to mean death. Let's see if the Ravens have learned from the last two bouts. So one last time, ladies and gentlemen, who will you cheer for? Will you give me a cheer for the Wolves? Or will you give a hearty cheer and lend your support to the Ravens? Oh, come on. So oh, typical of the North, you're only back a winner. So the horn has blown. The Warriors are ready for battle. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? I can't hear you. Are you ready? So for one last time, we call upon the Warriors to advance. In they go, they're charging. This is for that bump that's smashing together its shields and spears. And a brave Raven warrior charges into the wolves and dies gloriously. Seem to be hearing a lot more steel on steel now. Maybe the short arms are coming out. The swords are out. And certainly the Ravens are pressing the walls on both flanks. This is good work by the Ravens. And as I said, the problem with winning is winning is very tiring. The walls have already used a lot of energy. And the Ravens press it in the center as well. The Ravens have some hot spots. And the, the Ravens have taken the flank. They're enveloping around the walls, around the walls. The Ravens, I believe, have the flank nearest to museum. Now they're hacking the walls down. Furious fighting going on up here. The walls still holding. Their right flank, but it may be all for nothing as the Ravens bear down upon them. Oh my goodness. Death is coming on black wings, gentlemen. Look at that, a full, a full cycle, a full cycle. We're all fighting on one, one wing now. And it's become a killing field as the Ravens finally grasp victory and retrieve their honour and congratulations to them for doing that, it's not easy and I want to congratulate both sides for very convincing battles this afternoon no Pyrrhic victories here hard fought fights all done in good sport now ladies and gentlemen, all of our warriors here they are from three different societies Yulfus Hall from Pontifrax, the Viking Society and the Warriors of Regulate Lorum. Give them all a cheer, ladies and gentlemen. They've come from far and wide. They've come from Scotland, they've come from Wales, they've come from Kent, they come all across the country to entertain you this afternoon. And to offer their sweat and bruises to you for your entertainment. So as they gather their wits and weapons and once again their breath, give them all a cheer, ladies and gentlemen, the Warriors of Yorick! Now my friends, we've been here all week, I hope you've been here as well. There's still, although we're coming to the culmination of the finale this evening, there's still so much more to squeeze in here with our festival. There are crafts, there are uh, workshops for our young Vikings, there are story shows still happening in the heart of York. Still so much to see and do. Now our warriors are going to gather their breath 
She's pretty much exhausted themselves, but they are not done fighting yet. There will be one more contest, and it will be what we call the Circle of Treachery. All warriors fighting every other warrior to the last man standing. We will find out who will be our champion today in just a few minutes, but we will let them get their breath. Some of them will come and talk to you. And then we will give the signal for the circle of treachery to begin. Now you're thinking, who on earth should I cheer for? Well, my friends, this is an easy one. I would cheer for the eventual winner. Wise words, mate, wise words. So we have about two minutes now before the circles of treachery warriors. Get your breath back, get your weapons together. If you're not fighting in the circle of treachery, gather your weapons and get them off the field. We don't want a trip hazard for the other warriors. Don't want anyone falling unfairly. And very shortly we will begin the circle of treachery. Now as we said, ladies and gentlemen, we are recreating the early 10th century here. The year 930 when Ibn Fadlan made his amazing journey from Baghdad in old Persia across to the Volga River into the lands of the Rus, the early Russians, where he met with the Rus Vikings who went on to fight to found the dynasties that made Russia. But the Russians, the Rus lived on the edge of the Norse world. They had much in common with the Vikings. But the Vikings was a very cosmopolitan culture. And indeed, you would have had warriors from Denmark, warriors from Norway, from Poland. Indeed, oh, yeah. could take many Vikings from Sweden, from Finland, and eventually Iceland, which the Vikings founded. A very broad and diverse culture. What would you like, Tom? So I'm being asked by Tom Robinson, who is uh, the training officer for Radio Lord, what will be the rules here? And this will be a circle of honour. Now that means that each warrior must face each other warrior in honourable combat. There will be no stabbing in the back, no ganging up on each other. This will be a series of single combats. And there's quite a lot of them, so I suggest, warriors, get yourselves ready. If you are competing in the circle of honour, we will begin in about 15 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel your countdown. Should we do a countdown? Yeah. All right then, so my friends, are you ready to see this circle of honour, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? That was rubbish. Let's do it again. Are you ready for honourable combat, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Yeah! All right then, let us have a countdown. The warriors, it looks like they're ready. Let's have a countdown from 10 down to 1. Are you ready all together in one accord, in one voice? 10, 8, 6, And the horn of war has blown, the combat has begun. A bewildering choice of warriors with a bewildering array of weapons, which will prove to be the best weapon in single combat. So we have the single, the, the short handed and axe, either the single beard or sometimes double beard as well. Perfect for hunting down the shields. Obviously the sword. Our most prized weapon, can they use it to great extent to become the most honourable, the best fighter on the field? Are not still using their long arms, the hafted weapons? And the first object for each combatant, you've got to get around your enemy's defence. How are you going to get around that shield? Now if you're armed with a spear, that will be very useful in battle, but you're fighting more than one opponent. 
But it takes a very skillful warrior to wield a spear in single combat. We are whittling down our warriors as we speak. Now, of course, the axe can be used to yank the shield, hook it, pull it out of the way. But the sword can also be used, the pommel of the sword can be used to smash the shield to one side. And as you see, many fallen already. Now if you are dead warriors, get yourselves on the floor or off to the sides, do not wander around. And now we see fewer and fewer warriors, and we can choose our champions now, follow one of these warriors, see how they progress through this combat, and when they die, pick another one. I can see uh, uh, warriors at the far end of the battle, not using a shield at all, and using a, a double sword technique. Has that worked for them, or are they now lying on the ground? No, they're dead. Now you can see blades flashing. Now the rules of this combat, ladies and gentlemen, our warriors cannot hit each other in the head for obvious reasons. These are lumps of steel, they are iron bars. And a ferocious kill there! From Big Max there from Regia, the yellow shield. For the warriors left, who shall be your champion? Get behind your individual champions now! Showing us how it's done. Not just a good competitive fight, but a wonderful flourish of a finish. And I can see a number of warriors wearing the helmet, the dark helmet with the green shield. It's Elliot, who's come up from Kent for this. Tall Max there with the helmet, you've just seen with the yellow shield. Faces Miles, a Welshman with the green and yellow shield. And uh, the most kenting as Rob Howell with the great red beard has just been sliced up, chopped down by a brave soul whose name I do not know, I fear. Which looks like it leaves us with four warriors left. Four warriors, they meet so, right in the middle. All of these warriors, they have whittled down the field. These are. Among the best of the best we see here. And Tom Robinson in the rust tunic quickly dispatches his opponent. He is a ferociously fast swordsman. He faces in the mail shirt, Miles from Wales. Tom hails from the Midlands. So let's get a cheer. Are you going to get a cheer for Tom? Leaping up on the stage, what a fantastic idea, let's finish this on the Hazel Field. Now often the Vikings would battle a duel on a restricted area called the Hazel Fields, sometimes just marked out with sticks of hazel, and that's what our Warriors are doing for us this afternoon. Give them both a cheer as we see the last fight of Yorick. Here they go, and... It's down to the Warriors to agree who has the best hit here. Marginal hits will not do. It's got to be a good kill. And Tom Robinson slicing his enemy across the back to take the victory. Tom Robinson of Mercia, ladies and gentlemen. The people from the Midlands are the best fighters, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm going to say. Well, I lost a tenner on that match, but that was brilliant! A round of acclaim for both our champions, but all of our warriors on the field! And so, for one last time, ladies and gentlemen, let's call upon the dead to rise. Say one, two, three, dead arise!